Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, energy can go vice versa, and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. Okay, we have Ace of Fire, exciting new opportunity, Knight of Air. Someone's making some quick, decisive uh, decisions here, taking action on something that uh, they felt they needed to from a long time ago or the beginning. Okay, events are shifting here. You are the best thing in my life. I love you. Yes, yeah, somebody is uh, definitely following their heart. Overall energy, we have the Empress. This is about new beginnings here, as well as nurturing them to grow. It's about abundance. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your energy this week, Leo. We have Page of Pentacles, King of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. So this week, you're definitely seeing things very clearly, okay? Making some decisions that you need to make for a long time here. But uh, whatever you are choosing, it shows that you're choosing the right path. You're thinking things very clearly, as well as opportunities here coming to you. Okay, with the Page of Pentacles, I do see uh, there is an opportunity. Someone comes forward here. It could be financial, a job, or some help from somewhere. Someone's offering something as well. Uh, not that some of you actually take this on, uh, but I do see some uh, solutions to some problems that you've been holding on to for a while. Okay, so this is a very uh, clear week where you start to see solutions, resolutions, things uh, coming uh, more easily than they have before. So when it comes to your person here, we have the world king. I'm sorry, World Queen of Swords and the Sun card. So I see already a conversation is in the works. This person is viewing you in the Queen of Swords and they're viewing themselves as the King of Swords. There is a very serious, intense conversation, an event coming up that you uh, need to be aware of here. The universe is pushing this forward. This person feels like there is some unfinished business here and there is with the sun card as well with the world. So I see that they are feeling like a new chapter needs to begin and they need to come forward, clear the air here. There's something that they need to reveal to you that they've been doing or working on. Tell the sun card. High priestess. Yeah, for a lot of you, this is a spiritual connection. Five of Pentacles, okay? Something that they've not really revealed to you before. This could be uh, that they've had a job loss or they've taken a hit in their environment here uh, that's made them hit rock bottom as well as uh, for some of them can be that they are lost without you, okay? They're missing the support system that you give them and uh, they don't want to live without it anymore here. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. This is a huge event coming up uh, for warning here. I've not really gotten a reading for you like this before. So I just wanted you to be aware of this. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. So I see a missed opportunity here. Uh, in the beginning, it seemed like you both were on the same page, that you both wanted the same things and that this person was a good person to invest in because they were wanting a uh, commitment, okay, in the end or wanting to become serious in this connection. But I see that uh, when time went on here, they became more in their ego. They definitely controlled this connection and weren't willing to be as forthcoming as you thought that they were going to be. So they didn't really reveal to you a lot of things that they were thinking or feeling. And uh, they held back a lot. But due to uh, things that were changing in their life, they were dealing with some certain aspects or events happening and they kept that from you. They didn't want to reveal this to you uh, due to their ego, okay? They were shamed about it or felt guilty. Uh, five of Swords, yeah. So they ended up kind of playing a game here, okay? Manipulating the energy as well as your emotions at times. Okay, Five of Swords, Ace of Cups. 
I do see as well, for a lot of you, this person tends to be very jealous uh, and very possessive as well. But how they come off is not the normal uh, mode of jealousy or you would pick up on that. They come to you very harsh and very controlling. So not allowing you, some of you, to speak your mind or just running over you bulldozing. I also see for some of you, this person gaslights a lot. Okay, and they do this as a strategy here to get what they want or to proceed a certain way. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. This became a very difficult situation, Ten of Wands. Yeah, a lot of pressure was put on them. So they were being honest in the beginning. They did want this to move forward. They did want to commit, but they let other people and other things get in the way and they made that more of a priority than you. But what I see here is that because they felt like they couldn't move or they couldn't make rash decisions at that time, they treated you uh, in a way that was pushing you back, making you feel like, okay, you have to stay over there for this time being. And uh, I don't have to give you support, but I definitely need that from you. Okay, so it really felt like uh, it wasn't fair. The ba the scales were unbalanced. Uh, Tell the Seven of Pentacles. Page of Swords, yes, things became very suspicious. You felt like you all of a sudden didn't know who this person was. Why are they acting so different? Why are they treating me like this? I would have never gotten into the situation if it was going to turn out this way or I knew that they were going to be like this. Okay, so I have never seen a reading for you, Leo, uh, quite like this before. Uh, so let's see what the challenge was. Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so them really keeping things to themselves, not revealing anything to you, left a lot of unknowns, therefore suspicious energy. That they were up to no good here, doing things behind your back, and that possibly for a lot of you, they were giving into another situation. These were your concerns. Uh, tell me about the Seven of Swords. Let's check for foul play here. Eight of Cups. Okay. So they would disappear from responsibility, eight of cups, three of swords. For some of you, it is a third party, okay? I do see that they were giving in to the third party more than you, uh, but not because they wanted to. I see some pressure put on them as well emotionally. Uh, in a sense, I see a cycle trickling down here. They were manipulated and therefore they had to manipulate you because they didn't want you to leave. Uh, but I see they disappeared a lot. In general, the foundation is the same. Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Three of Swords. The way that they would abandon you at times or reject you emotionally or play these uh, manipulative games uh, became very hurtful. But I see them disappearing a lot, especially when you needed them the most. They were just never there for you. But I see that you were very loyal to them. You were always there whenever they needed you especially for support here. So let's see what action they take this week. And I see in the current moment, they're realizing, okay, I have to have a really down to earth, honest and open conversation. Uh, I have to come out, come clean. And uh, we've got to discuss some things here. All right. We have the 10 of swords, the four of swords, knight of swords, wheel of fortune. We have the same cards reappearing, which is a red flag to me here. So we not only have one door closing, we have the Ten of Swords. So finally an end to this mess, this chaos. But we have a new beginning. Uh, something that's been waiting in the wings, in the ethers for quite a while. But Wheel, Knight of Swords, now we have something shifting in such a way that is going to bring about your desire. So things are going to turn completely around in the other direction where you're going to be very surprised. So if this reading is resonating with you in the extended, we're going to go over exactly what action they take here, what they're going to say to you moving forward, as well as the timing and the outcome. If this is your last stop, Leo, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys as always, and I'll see you next time.